guys so today we're going to be uh doing a little modification to this picket bow truckle from fantastic beasts and where to find them um you can definitely do it out of polymer clay and make it all yourself but i figure for this there's so many good tutorials on how to make it uh, i figured i'd just take this one that i found from aliexpress for about eleven dollars here i'll see if i can pull it up and i'll explain what's going to be happening during this tutorial while I'm getting ready here. So I picked up Picket here for about $11 US. Um, the entire probably build or modification is probably all done under about 20 bucks. So I took this, uh, changed some of the colors, added some browns to it, changed the eyes to make them look a little cuter. And we're gonna get something like, like this at the end. So it's add some color and make him a lot cuter than what he is in the other picture so let's dive right into it so first thing i'm going to do is uh, just kind of dry brush some of this kind of golden honey honey brown to the legs this is kind of the base color anything that transitions from the green to the brown this is the honey brown that it's gonna kind of dive into I use some reference pictures, of course, and uh, just start dabbing in some color. I can always remove it very easily with just a damp cloth, just removing any colors that I, I don't want here. The legs are the most obvious part, so start with the legs and then move down to some of the leaves and just kind of seeing what, what the movie showed as being. After I'm done with the honey brown, at least a little bit of it, I'll dive right into the just a regular brown, medium brown, I guess. Just start darkening some of the legs. As you can see, I'm using a different brush here that's a little bit more accurate. Just adds the adds the paint on there. But then it's too too clean of a cut with this brush, so you'll see I'll kind of bounce between this brush and a. a a heavy bristled brush it's a little bit messier it's what I use for all my weathering technique and I kind of jump between the two brushes because this this one blends the colors in a little bit more kind of blends all the browns out and then it blends it into the green at the end of the day so I'm constantly switching between the two it's no big deal you'll see here that I kind of take a cloth and take away some of the materials and restart it's all sil silicone so uh, at the end once it all dries you can either keep it dry like that or unless you want to go to the next step and uh, Add a clear coat to make sure all the colors are sealed in So I'm just showing you the whole process just because I'm Adding colors taking away colors adding colors taking away colors. It's just a constant process as I'm looking at reference picture and I'm just starting light and slowly going darker every time any kind of professional would be you know exactly what they want for colors and kind of move on but because I'm just kind of feeling out the colors I don't don't always agree with what I put on there and sometimes I like to change it So I'm still sticking with this kind of darker brown color. Just kind of seeing where I can put some around the knuckles and some of the kind of key joints and anywhere where it looks appropriate to add some of the darker color here. I'm using my skin there to really dry out the brushes just because I don't want any water at certain times. Sometimes I do, but I add the color I need and then I switch brushes and I blend it all in. Blend it in, blend it in. I can always add or take away more, so it's just a feel. As you notice, there's a pink set of scissors and it's kind of a multi-tool kit that my wife uses, so that's why it's pink. I use I use her stuff as well. 
just because she doesn't use the stuff for scrapbooking, so I just tend to use some whatever instruments I have. Yeah, I'm going one step darker and one step darker. You'll see I'll introduce uh, some black into the brown pretty soon here. And I just start going one level deeper and one level deeper and one level deeper in terms of colors. Just because I know that his legs are not completely black, but see there? And just start incorporating some of the black. Now I'm really making sure these are clean because I want to make sure that I do blend some of it in, but I add the next level of deep brown and just where it starts to pop. And even at the end, I uh, touch up the feet a little bit more just because I want it a nice deep brown for the toes and the feet. I'm going to be pretty satisfied with this and we'll move on to the eyes here in just a moment. So in this case scenario, I got my painting mostly done. Now I have two different size beads that I took from, I don't know, a bead set from my wife. <laughs> and then I start carving out uh, the silicone where the eyes are. The beads are, what they do is they just added a touch of paint and I really want to add uh, beads for the eyes makes them look a lot cuter i've seen lots of reference pictures and i found that the bigger the eyes the cuter he was and uh i found that a lot of people do pick it which is probably more accurate for his eyes to be a little beady eyes but uh i don't i don't like it as much i want him to look super super cute if it's going to be part of the costume so i start by taking a uh a router after i cut out the eyes take a router with a diamond bit that's very pointed now all I'm gonna do is just gonna try and do a really accurate tight little spot just to start the whole see me in the way there just to make accurate holes to try and deepen some of those eyes but then at this point I didn't know if I want the small eyes or if the two if the big eyes were just way too big I just thought his eyes were a little bit too beady and I wanted it to look a little bit more animated so I, t I decided to go with the big eyes but the problem with that is uh, it just kind of sticks out like a big bug eyed piece so what I did was I took a different bit that's a diamond bit and it's rounded it's just a round circular end and all I did was I I make sure to go really really deep to make kind of eye sockets and when I push the bead in I want the material to kind of engulf it I just I wanted it to make it look like it's part of his head and not just sticking out like a bug so here it looks like it's very stuck out just because I haven't pushed them in and you can always take away more material but you can't add any more uh, with the silicone so I'm just taking really really taking my time here slowly going deeper every time this whole picket build is definitely under uh, twenty dollars so if you want a really cool looking picket then this is the way to do it in my opinion Again, I'm just going one level deeper and I when I really push them in it'll look pretty sharp and what I'm gonna do is just add a piece of super glue here pretty soon one drop less than a drop like half a drop that's all you need make sure to not get it on your fingers it's it's a pain in the butt when you're trying to get that stuff off so the, the right eye worked really, really well. And then I was having troubles with the left eye. So 
just gonna try to problem solve on the spot. Now I want to make sure that all the materials kind of pushed in. And it looks super, super cute. And at the end of the day, this is what it looks like. Pick it for under $20.